Hey what's happening guys my name is Saurav and welcome to another video of Alimit Solutions and this video I'm going to show you all how you can add a lockout into your MVC core application so to add a lockout all you have to do is that you're gonna so what exactly is the lockout so lockout is basically when a user try to enter invalid credential let's say four times five times then the account will be locked out automatically and the user will be redirected to a new new page that the application says that the account is locked and now you can reset the password or you can just wait for some time in order to unlock the account so to configure this lockout functionality into your mvc core application all you have to do is that you're gonna go to startup class over here and here i'm just gonna add options and here so this is the add identity services over here and under this we are configuring the lockout option over here so you can see over here like we are getting this lockout options and if i just go to the lockout options over here i'm just gonna set maximum failed access attempts is equal to 5 and now if and uh, so basically by default the time span is uh, 20 minutes so I'm gonna add 15 minutes over here so we can just override it also so we're gonna just choose lockout and then default lockout time span and I'm gonna choose time span dot from minutes and here I'm gonna choose 15 minutes let's say and now if I just save it and that's it and now all you have to do is that you're gonna just go to the account controller over here so what it gonna what exactly gonna happen over here so if a user is able to log in I mean if the user ID and password is true it will return the result as succeeded if it is not or if the status is is logged out then it will be redirected to over here and it will be redirected us to a new view that is account log that I've already uh, created it into my application so if I just now hit the application and if I just go to the database over here you can see that this is my ASP.NET user wherein when I'm registering a new user all the details are coming up over here so there are three users at the moment I'm just gonna try it with the Amman user account and now if you can see over there we have this lockout end column over here and which is null at the moment so I'm gonna add I'm gonna basically enter a five invalid login attempts for Amman user which basically tells every time that the account user is invalid and now you can see over here we are redirected to your account is logged please try again after some time or you may reset your password by clicking here so this is we are redirected to this page so and now if I just go to the database and if I just execute this query you can see over here when the session will be I mean the lockout end will be uh, when this lockout will be end basically so you can see it over here it's it will be end after 15 minutes that will be so this is coming as UTC time so it's it will be locked out at uh, 6 53 a.m. so yeah so this is how you can implement the lockout functionality guys into your MVC core application so that's it for today guys I hope this video is helpful to you so don't forget to subscribe until the start of your stay happy and love to learn new life accelerating technical difficulties bye bye